What's going on everybody? I'm your host Mike Nickus and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. We're going to begin with the story of a teen girl who created a gala called the Autism Ball for her seven cousins who were diagnosed with autism. Kathleen decided during a family reunion to do something special to help her cousins. A class project at the middle school about the toll autism takes on families piqued the curiosity of classmates and teachers. Soon kids approached local merchants who got on board with Kathleen's cause. We walked throughout town and asked the stores if they want to donate it. Saying yes led to this, the autism ball, now a five-year tradition. Volunteers reached Reaching out, donations and fundraising go to help group homes in Nassau County, to Camp Anchor in Lido Beach, and to special needs programs throughout the village. Now let's shift things over to the Twin Cities, where a walk to benefit children with apraxia will be taking place. On Saturday, the first ever Walk for Children with Apraxia of Speech will take place at the Byron Middle School. Proceeds from the walk will go towards programs and grants to help kids with CAS and their families. Throughout July, the new Academy Award-winning documentary Life Animated will be opening across the country. The film tells the story of a young man with autism who used Disney animated films to communicate. And here's a look at the trailer. And all of a sudden it became clear to us, he's using these movies to make sense of the world he actually is living in, our world. So at that point, we began to speak to him in Disney dialogue. When did you and I become such good friends? <laughs> whatever works to get to Owen. Next up, treatments known as neuromodulation have helped scientists find new ways to work with individuals with neurological conditions. For example, brain pacemakers, deep brain stimulation systems. So these are tiny wires that go into the brain into specific parts of the brain causing a tremor or causing Parkinson's or other movement problems. The pacemakers are calming the part of the brain that is causing the abnormal electrical activity. So as a result, when the pacemaker is turned on, you go from severe shaking to a steady hand. So if you have a movement problem, you're able to function better with the pacemaker. MyFox8 has released a guide regarding concussions, including how to help someone suffering from one and what the symptoms may be. Does it show up right away as a, as a head injury that's a little different than the rest? Yeah, use, most of the time they show up right away. Mm -hmm. You get symptoms that vary from headaches, dizziness, nausea, balance problems, mm -hmm. sometimes have problems with memory, um, things that parents want to look out for that aren't typical symptoms of concussion. Increased confusion. If if your kid is persistently vomiting after mm -hmm. a, some kind of head injury, right. or if you're getting weakness or numbness, those are not common and definitely need to be seen by a specialist. And, and finally, over in California, a young boy with autism has had his life changed thanks to the help of his service dog. Drake has been training with Coda for about four months, and so far the bond has been good for them both. Coda's tail never stops wagging, and Drake is happier than ever. He's interactive, he's communicative, he's joyful, he laughs all day, he exercises and plays all day, he's uh, sleeping better. The difference Coda is for Drake has been life-changing. Looking for something new to check out? Because That Dad Blog is a heartwarming channel featuring a family story of raising their son with Down syndrome, and is definitely worth checking out so be sure to click the link at the end of this video. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.